lots of people here. Hello, Hello. everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, very excited. We haven't done, well, I guess we did a little fire. I feel like we don't do fantasy. That was a lot. while ago, though. Yeah. Have we done a fantasy? I guess, oh, we, one of our first ones was Amy Harmon. The, oh, that's true. I forgot about that. But I was going to say one of our first ones was a JLA book. Wasn't it the second one? Oh, yeah. We did the first and the second one. Yeah. That was like, and then people kept ago. thinking that um, Cass was a vampire, no, a werewolf. I was like, oh, you guys, no, you thought he was a werewolf too. Yes, but it's okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Excited to chat about the book. I actually finished it early, I finished it two days ago. Wow, but that's because I was listening to the audiobook. Yeah, I, I had that. to slow down the audio because I always struggle with fantasy audios. I zoned out a lot. Yeah, me too. So, I had to rewind a couple times. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait, how did we get here? Okay, we'll talk, we'll talk about it. Um, do you want to say what you're reading first? We'll start with that. Yes. Well, if you haven't heard, I am currently obsessed with the Bonds That Tie series by Jay Bree. Because she was Not supposed to go to a Polycon and then she dropped out. I was so out. ready to buy book one. <laughs> I know, you told me. Literally today. I was like, oh, I got to buy that today. <laughs> okay. But yeah, she's from Australia and she had um, trouble with her passport and it just didn't come in in time. So yeah, but I am on book five. <laughs> I just like binged the whole thing. There's one more book. But it's out in September, so I have to wait. Oh, so I should wait. I mean, I'm not going to read five books back to back, but I still haven't finished the the other series by uh, Christy Cunning. So <laughs> and the Dark Side series. I Come on, I Jess. <laughs> so I'll finish those first, and then I'll get to them. <laughs> didn't you prepare them? Yeah, I did. Okay. Like the like the slow burn or fantasy. And it's not as crazy funny, but still a little funny. Okay. Because okay. I remember, wasn't it? It was in one of your recent videos. You were like, the other one I read where they were like 15. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By Jason. <laughs> so I, I like, am super wary of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Reading her books. But it looks really good. And I've seen a couple of people picking it up now. So I'll still I'll get, get it from KU before I mm -hmm. download. Um. I am reading, uh, I'm almost done with the audiobook of Game On by Odette Stone. So good. Um, their hockey romances. Have you read that series? No, but I've like recently heard about her because people were trying to guess at like a bookworm box author. They're like, oh. Canadian and hockey. It's either Elle Kennedy or Odette Stone. I was like, oh, let me check her out. Isn't it Helena Hunting Canadian though too? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what my guess would have been. Um is Odette Stone Canadian? Yes, I think so. She's not active on social media like at all because I was looking at her oh. stuff today. Um, she doesn't post a lot. Um, but it's I'm on book two and it's really good. So I've now listened to one, two, and three because I started with three, went back to one, then I did two. My library has all of them. So um, does she only library? write hockey? No, she has a spinoff mafia series. Because Ooh. in book three, he, like, is friends with people in the mafia because he's Russian. So, it's really good. Um, but I also am, like, five pages into Steel King when I have to be done with book two by two nights. So, I just bought the audio for book two. <laughs> is that book two? No, this is book one. I have to read this. and then Oh, I, have to read oh, I forgot. They cha She changed the title. I was like, hmm, yeah, which book is that? Yes. No, she didn't change the name of the motorcycle club in the books. So Yeah, I think that would be a little too much. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But Too so, much like, work. So it, like, that word is like everywhere. And I'm like, okay. <clears throat> but it's, I'm excited to read it. Um, but I love Audible and how you can get the audiobooks for $7 when you have the, the uh, ebook. Because I feel like looking at Audible prices, it's super cheap instead of spending like they used to be, Do you remember? They used to be $1.99. I've only had Audible like this year. Oh, but like, a couple years ago when you buy the ebook you could add on the audio for like 199 literally i know some authors do that like didn't jennifer armantrout do that for her um for blood nash series like if you buy the ebook 
you can add on the audiobook for two dollars from mm-hmm. audible or from someone else mm-hmm. or on amazon i'm pretty Maybe. sure that's what did. i think she'll be able to tell me if she did it or not she's here <laughs> yeah. um but i, I mean but that, they used to be like a like a that was like website it. thing yeah but then okay. they upped the prices i mean just like with audible escape that we had and i only <laughs> had a year because i was late to the game getting into audiobooks oh but it's okay i'm lucky my library gets some good ones mm-hmm. it's just the audible only ones that are annoying that you can't get gosh i know oh oh do you know this i don't remember which book it is but I do like that series. Well, half of them I like, half of them I don't. Are they just like billionaire romances? Yeah, billionaire rom-coms. Oh. I feel like the author sounds familiar. Oh, she is a hockey romance author. Oh, I didn't know she was Canadian. Mm. I missed out on that, though. <laughs> Tori on her reread. Did you, you read this? Mm-hmm. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Okay. Did you like like it or you just I liked it? Okay. I wasn't like in love, but it was good. Okay. It's very solid. Okay. Lisa L said some still have 199. Okay, yes. I just feel like it's rare when they do have 199 audio. I'm really excited to read Blind Side. Did you see it's still number 20 in the Amazon store? Oh really? And it's been like a month since release. Yeah. I, I love happening. the. <laughs> I'm a little in love with the, what do you call typography for the title on it, that I kind of copied it into my own thumbnails. <laughs> oh, the, the these covers. Yes, like the yeah. white border. I I try yeah. to do it on my own thumbnails because of her. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you in Canva? Yeah. Well, no, yeah. I don't know. I thing, use my but... feature, but then I don't make it overlap. So I just make it like that's how I have mine, like with a black. Border. I mean, the border, right? But I, yeah. I wanted it to be like shifted. outside of it. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh, see, this is why I hate flying with books. I just noticed my copy of Blindside. Look at all that on the top. Oh, what I was flying with what? it and they're all like jammed together. Nothing else is wrong with it. Oh, just that. But it's okay. I'm not flying this time. I'm driving to a polycon, which I'm really excited about. Be able to bring so much more. Okay. Um, sorry, we've already been <laughs> just talking about nothing <laughs> here. Um, a little bit. Jennifer uh, Haymore. I'm excited to read it. <gasps> still beating is so good. Have you read Still Beating? I still need to read it. Gosh, it's so good. It's so good um all right what did you give so lexi did not read it which is totally fair sometimes i'm not in the mood for a fantasy but thanks for coming anyways yeah um, i mean a lot of people joined us last month oh yeah <laughs> for take james so good i, I still have to it. read the rest of that series I'm, I don't it. it's so good um what did you rate everyone's it? ratings um i'm like three to three and a half I was uh, try- I would like feel like I thought you were gonna love it, and because everybody that I've seen read I know, it before, people, were telling me. people loved like, it. Yeah, like I said, I was a little bored. Like for a huge chunk of the middle, I really liked the beginning and I really liked the end. Yes, that like, was me too. Not a lot going on in the middle, so I was gonna give like three and a half, but I didn't know if I wanted to round up or down. Oh, one star. <laughs> Someone gave it one star. Yes. <laughs> I saw Crystal DNF'd it. So I don't know. I didn't look at Goodreads. I just saw her Instagram. She was reading and DNF'd it. I mean, I'm glad most people liked it. Yeah. I don't see any five stars though. So I don't think this like blew anybody away. I got a, a reply on my story that someone gave it five stars. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was long. I don't. Was I was I went to patience though. I listened to the audio, so I don't know. But the audiobook was a little long, especially since I had to lower the speed. Yeah, it was almost fifteen hours. 
Oh, okay. I'm looking at Crystal's review now, now that I pulled it up on Goodreads. Um, I guess she made a point. So like her thing was that it kind of just dropped you in and you were like, what is going on? Because like, I feel like there were a lot of politics that weren't explained until the end. Mm -hmm. That confused me. And then still I was like, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, it was 512 pages according to Goodreads. There's really good fantasy romance though. Like I feel like Daniel Jensen with the um oh my gosh. Fringe Kingdom. Fringe Kingdom. That one is so good. But and I feel I like I haven't read it yet. Oh my gosh. She <laughs> said we had a polycon too. I know, you, I know. You, you I mean the authors that I chose to read <laughs> were the wrong ones. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Lacey focused on two authors and they both canceled. So, I mean, I used to enjoy the books, but um, I don't know. This one was a lot more boring than like even Little Fire. I really liked and I felt like that was more and more romance heavy. This mm -hmm. one was a very this slow burn. Yeah. But I also kind of feel like, I don't know. I can see the, um, oh, two stars. Yeah, I can see the comparison to, I feel like everything's compared to From Blood and Ash, but like, I really could see the comparison to that. Because like, they meet at kind of like a brothel establishment and like have a moment oh, yeah. together. And then all this stuff happens and like, she has some mysterious powers and he's and really not who he's a he identity thing. Yes. Yeah. So now I don't that you know. say it, I can see it. Well, because that's how I think, um, Sam from Sam Reads Little had compared it to. She said it was a lot like that. But I don't know if authors are trying to copy from Blood and Ash. I don't know. Because I feel like between A Court of Thorns and Roses and From Blood and Ash, those are like the two that really blew up. So a lot of fantasy yeah. authors are like, I'm and ready. Then the, and then the blurbs are always going to be like, if you love yes. JLA or SGM, you're going to love this. And it's like, no. <laughs> But, like, for a fantasy romance, too, the, fan the romance was really, really lacking for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I did like the narrator. I had no problems with the narrator. It was interesting that she gave him an accent. Well, she had to differentiate the guys. I've noticed that. Like, so all the, the different men. So, like, the prince? King? What was he? The, yeah, kind of like a prince. I thought he would be a love interest. Oh. But he wasn't. No. But like he had a certain act, a uh, certain like voice that she did for him. It just reminds me of like the um the Madison Kate series. Did you read that on audio? I did the first two. Okay. the The male narrator had to have like a different tone for each guy. Yeah, I mean, but but oh. tone is different from accent. accent. He had a full on accent. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if he was supposed to be from somewhere else. I don't know. Yes, I agree. Um, the authors you were going to see were Jay Bree and Monica James. Monica and James. Both Australian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe I should try reading authors who are in, in the US. US. <laughs> Even Mo Jones had canceled, and she is, yeah. is she Australian. She's from New Zealand, maybe? Okay. I don't like, remember where she's Somewhere from. there. But I mean, it would have been nice to see an international author, you know? Because you never know going to see them again. Just like Tilly Cole. She yeah. cancels. A lot because she's in England. So, oh, okay. So I don't know. I would have liked a little bit more world building at the beginning to understand. All I knew was there was that sickness. Mm -hmm. and that she survived it. It was cool how she discovered her powers. I think her powers are really cool. Yeah, but, I mean, I, it was still weird that she like just killed other people for. But she didn't know she was. <laughs> yeah. But then she did. And she's like, oh, well, I just killed that servant. Oh, well. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, this lady who helped raise you was like 90. Like, it's I know. Just, like time to go. I don't know. I just feel like she was really. Well, and, then, and, she, like, and she only lived that long because of Cass, too. Right. Right. And I still don't understand, like, of course, it's the whole, like, well, I don't know who my actual parents are. And you're like, well, that's, a like, a, a red flag. Like, okay, some your parents going to be someone important. And then she was raised by those people. But then she got to see them. And did anything, like, really come out of that scene? No. So I was, they, was they the couldn't point? even communicate. No. So what was the point of her bringing back no people? It was, just, it was just so that it led to that 
that mom or what's her name? It started with an A or something. Yeah, I don't but know. It led to her seeing her ghost and then her freaking out. Okay. And then that's when everything started happening. But I was like, these these people were your parents for like four years, and that was it, right? Because then they died. So I don't know. That just felt strange. Like I didn't feel like she really had a connection to her second pair of parents. I don't even know what you would call them. Her like adoptive parents for like those four years. Yeah. Which, I need to see them, and then didn't even talk to them. So I don't know. Yes, this was definitely more fantasy than. But it wasn't even like. Well, I guess like they fought creatures. Yeah, there was action. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it did remind me, like, she talked to those gods, too. And I was like, this is bringing me back to JLA. Like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I totally called uh, the wolf thing. Isn't he oh, you wolf? did? Yeah. As soon as she saw him and she's like, oh, I've dreamed of him. And I was like. I, I didn't even make the connection because I was not paying attention at all. <laughs> I actually made, I was like, I never make these connections. I was like, oh, I bet that's him. I bet that's him. Yeah, so I that knew, whole, like, the whole ending thing, I was like, wait, I need to back up a little because I don't right. remember how we got to this place. Like, they the reveal for him. So much at the end. Yeah. Like, he's that wolf, but he's also this god, and then all his friends are actually all these god things. That they're she's like, they're fallen about. gods. Right. I, I tried to go back to, like, a certain chapter, and I actually found that they did talk a little bit about these gods, about, like, him, mm -hmm. but, and it was yeah, talking with the god. king. Yes. Yeah. And the king told her about them. Yeah. So there were snippets throughout the book. I just was not paying attention. Yeah. But I feel like it was easy to just, like, zone out in this, because it's just, like, a lot of nothing. Mm -hmm. And, like, what was the point of her friends? Yeah, did she even see them ever again? Like, they were there, and they were, like, doing the job with her, and then they were gone, and I'm like, what is their purpose in this plot? I don't, I didn't, I don't Yeah, know. I mean, the thing about fantasy romance is sometimes they have such a good, like, cast of characters, you know? Yeah. You know, like, the backup people, people who you're fighting with, and this one did not have that. No. I think the fox was cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fox, the little one that, like, helped save her. I thought that mm -hmm. was cute like escape from but then she didn't escape so i don't i don't know yeah see but i've heard elise Koba doesn't have actually like romance romance fantasy like her and they're one, not steamy right like the deal with the elf king that everyone was like oh my gosh it's gonna be like cruel prince but steamy because everyone talks yeah. about cruel prince for the romance and it's not but then i heard it wasn't so I've been very hesitant to pick up. She's going to be at a Polycon too, but I didn't buy anything from her. Yeah. For the signing. Cause I'm scared to read her books. Me too. Yeah. I do like, isn't the half blood series like, um, Oh, Oh, the covenant series. Is that what the half blood series is? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's the white hot kiss series though? Um, the gargoyle one yeah i thought that was the half blood no the half blood is the like the half flowers on the cover that are like yeah one. okay i do think i mean jennifer armantrout writes really good fantasy romance and i feel like it's just hard to find really good fantasy romances outside that's of, true like, the huge i mean i don't know like talking about little fire i really liked it i don't mm -hmm. think amy was that romance that movie. one wasn't as romance as we would like yes but her books are, are also not really that romancy either. True. They really lend towards whatever genre she's writing in, whether mm -hmm. it's like or just regular fiction. The guys were from different areas. This was from five minutes ago, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't no, know. What maybe it's the accent thing. Oh, okay, okay. The hero's first love. Wasn't it the heroine? I don't even remember him talking about his first love. It was after they uh, slept together. <clears throat> okay. And uh, I guess she asked him if he ever, like, fell in love or had a previous relationship. And he told her that he did, but it didn't work out because she ended up dying or something. Oh, and yeah. Then, and I'm thinking well, it's her. Yeah, because he, he tried to, like, find her her ghost yeah. or whatever and he couldn't find her so it's like okay like, she has to be still alive right 
But is she like reincarnated or something? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I mean, because, they're gods, you know? <laughs> right. True. So, like, she do we think she's a god? We didn't learn if she was one, right? I don't think so. You don't think she's a god? No, we didn't learn what she okay. is. But her power, because she has a lot of powers, right? Because she can like take fire. Yeah, she had the fire, too, that she could control. But she had, like, a magic mm-hmm. spell for that. So I didn't understand. The magic system was hard to understand. Because I'm like, is everybody able to use magic? Oh, yeah. And I didn't, I didn't even really understand what the hero's magic was. Do we know what it is? Just, like, really strong stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't explain the magic system that well and i don't know was she only able to do magic because she was like fade marked because then she had that like cloak but, spell where she like had different hair and looked different but was she not marked though she was okay but then but she was like how do i have magic i'm not marked or whatever but she got marked from being sick and, like, not dying oh. from it. And, like, the king was trying to collect people who didn't die. But then they were saying it's because, like, someone he loved was sick, right? And that's why he was collecting them. And then I don't know if the king was telling the truth or not when he was, like, explaining. Oh, yeah, he's suspicious. You can't believe what he says. Because she's, like, you took everybody and killed him. He's, like, no, they died naturally. So, like. Yeah. No. And then there's something with her, like, as a child that he. He hurt her or something? I don't remember. I don't know. Okay, so the hero is a lesser god. I remember them talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, is this at least... Okay. <laughs> That's my assumption. I think, though, the cover, like, makes this look like it's going to be a really good fantasy romance, and then it's, yes. like, very closed door, so... Which is so disappointing. Yeah. Okay, so she's not Mark, she's something else, but she has the power of different gods. But we just still don't, we don't know. Oh, because happened. he also survived a lot of things. Like, she, didn't she, like, give him something and he wasn't affected by it at all? Like, giving him something physically or? Not like, a poison or something, I don't remember what it was. Oh. She, like, did something to him and then he, like, walked away. <laughs> and I feel like in the beginning. Time. There were a few times where he was, like, supposed to die, and he didn't. He was mm, I don't know. Yeah, we still have a lot of unexplained stuff. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's fair if it's a fantasy <coughs> movie, because you're supposed to, like, read the rest of the series and catch up on it. Yeah. Oh, I really liked the Lux series when it was, like, what, 20? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day we were they had, like, the individual books and not like the bind ups that she ended up coming out with yeah i still have a couple of them yeah individual what obsidian oh, those were really good jennifer armentrout just writes a really good romance <laughs> yeah i, I will them. say though i don't i didn't like the last book in that series i never finished the series but we're not surprised <laughs> <laughs> I read a few. I remember, like, something with someone being kept in a cage and, like, one of the twins dying or something. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was the older brother or the okay. sister. One of those. Yeah. That's as far as – I think I only had a couple books left in this But series. that was the prequel. Huh? Oh, no, no. No, that did happen later on. Okay. I'll like, do book three or four because I was a, a few books in. But it connected with the prequel. Oh, okay. Yes. This could have more romance. Because I feel like he also had like a sidekick, kind of like what was in with Cassian. The other gods. Yeah. The fallen gods or whatever. Yeah. And I feel like I barely knew them. Like at the end, they're like, well, I'm this god and I'm this god. I was like, wait, but who were you? Yeah. I I get to know you. Every, like all the side characters are very surface level. Mm Mm-hmm. Which series is this talking about? Oh, the Lux series. That's why yeah. I loved it. That was when I was eating up Vampire Diaries. Yeah, because the the Covenant series was basically just like Vampire Academy. Academy. I heard yes. that. Didn't people accuse her of like plagiarizing Vampire Academy? Probably. Okay. 
But then I'm like, look at all these series now. Like, they take common tropes that are doing well. Yeah. Like, is that technically plagiarizing? I don't know. I almost, I still don't know whether I want to buy this or not for the signing. Because, like, I mean, I have, like, a day to decide if I want to. I've heard such mixed things. Me too. And I'm scared. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I have time to read it. Yeah. And I don't want to buy it you know, before I read it. <laughs> I mean, TikTok loves it. But, like, nobody can write, like, a Court of Thorns and Roses series. Like, mm-hmm. that's just top-tier fantasy romance. <sighs> I need to reread that at some point, though. It's been a long time. I only Ooh. reread book two. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I guess, I, like, once you get to book two, you're like, why would I want to reread book one with that romance? But this happened. Okay, yeah, I don't remember that. Because I, I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, he must be, like, having special powers. Oh, yeah, even, like, the so, king couldn't be killed either. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But so the hero can't die. Is that his thing? Because he, he, it's related to death, his power. So she can, like, take other people's powers? I don't know. Oh, boy. This is what I've heard from a lot of people. So. Yeah. People always say you have to make it through the first three books and then you'll start liking it. That's what they said about Zodiac Academy. And I was like, I cannot. Did you ever read those? <laughs> no, I only read Not. Ruthless Boys. I cannot put myself through three, four books in order to get to. And they're long. Yes. So long. And they were annoying. So I'm like, I don't want to be with annoying characters. I'm sorry. I don't know. Right. Um, does this when did this book come out? Oh, good question. Oh, 2020. So I'm assuming more of the series is out. I oh, it's wow. not finished yet. I remember that. So book four recently came out last month. Oh, okay. What do we think about the cover change? Because the original the has the text, the new one. What? Which one's the new one? The one that um, the non-girl one. Is oh, this the is the old. One. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, it's not. I it screams fantasy. Right, the new ones don't, but the new ones are for the people who don't like people on the cover. Yeah. Which is annoying, because if you don't like people on the cover, what's the book so, about? You have no idea. I'm actually going to do a video <laughs> soon on the discrete covers. Are you? Yeah. Well, because, like, even because uh, in my interview with um, Catherine Cowles, she had said um, she originally, she doesn't like people on covers, but she's like, I needed you to know what you were getting when you got this book. Yeah. Like, obviously, small town mountain romance. Like, yes. But then mm-hmm. she has these. But I'm like, if you look at what what is this? Yeah, they're small pretty, but you don't common. know what it is. Is it a thriller? Is it a woman's fiction? Is it contemporary? So, like, the discreet cover. It could cover, be anything. Like, throw, throw it all off. Because you're just like, I don't know what this is. I know what this is. So. Yeah. But I mean, so I guess it's there for authors, for their readers who like know what they're writing. So then they're like, oh, well, I like this better and I want a romance, but Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're annoying. I know. (laughs) Like the Tay James one. Oh my God, that one hurt. (laughs) That one hurt to see. (laughs) I was so excited to see the alternate covers because I mean, like her regular ones are fine, but I was like, I really love the Madison Kate alternate and the Hades alternate. Those are really pretty. Yeah, but then and they went in a different direction this time. They literally look like small town romances. Right. <laughs> I don't know, but they don't have people on the cover, so that's what people want. True. So, like, if I was looking at book four closer, and it does have like fantasy elements to it, but you have to like look at it. So, I think it has like a sword in the bottom. It's got a crown. Oh, there's a wolf in the in the back. So there's a wolf there. Oh. 
Yeah. So this is book four, though. So, oh. but then it's like if I'm gonna look at a cover, am I gonna look, look at the yeah. details? Oh, this is fantasy. Like I don't know. Yeah. As opposed so, to. So I guess she started changing them at book four because the first three still have the, like, they originally had the girl cover. Yeah. And I don't know if she would continue having the girl covers for people who want to match the series. This is true. But if I see an alternate cover and I don't know what the genre is, I get annoyed. Because <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, what is, what is it? I don't know. And like, I'm not the biggest fan of Candy's alternate covers either. That she did for <laughs> that blind they're, sign cover. No, they're very like 70s, and I'm like, this isn't this isn't they a genre. Like, I don't know, like, they don't reflect the book, they look like a journal cover. To True, me. yes, maybe it's just the font choice. Um, let me go back to some of these. Um, oh, yes, Zoe actually made it through book one, but I'm not going back. <laughs> to the series uh this is i mean it's true but if like is it okay if they take every trope in a popular series and use it in their own series okay. i mean i feel like you could find multiple popular books with the exact same tropes like yeah a fake dating like ali hazelwood you probably find a bunch of other books with fake dating professor yes. student type of stuff true True. I mean, but it's one you take. Oh, and there was, I saw on TikTok, there was another author who got accused of plagiarizing a different author. And it was like side by side paragraphs taken out. And that author said, oh, it was my ghostwriter. <laughs> and I feel like that's always the excuse when they say that. They're like, well, someone ghost wrote it for me. And like, they're the ones who plagiarized. And I'm like, did you really have a ghostwriter? Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought like the one who was plagiarized. Oh, and it was, but, that's okay. why I was like, <laughs> and then, like they said i'm not the one who plagiarized my ghostwriter plagiarized that author yeah but okay like the scapegoat yeah. yes, scapegoat yes, type of stuff. Yes, yes and it literally i saw that tiktok today i was like another one i feel like they always do that yeah but it's been a while since that happened so i feel like it's due to for some <laughs> plagiarism drama just don't plagiarize nora roberts <laughs> yeah It'll come for you <laughs> <laughs> you so would it's... think People would learn their lesson, but no. Nora is so funny. <laughs> I feel like I end up talking about Nora Roberts in every single one of my live shows I do, and I've never read a single one of her books, but it's okay. I mean, I've read J.D. Robb, but. I mean, I really like the girl ones, because they, but I mean, that's the same as, they're down there, the um, Amanda Boucher ones, like they were mm -hmm. warrior females on the cover, and they're changing yeah. now to I mean, hers are objects, which I think more scream fantasy. Like, they look mm -hmm. like high fantasy now, yeah. which is common. But I think it was because they were actual people that looked a little awkward. Instead of, like, illustrated? Yeah, instead of illustrated, like, yeah. beans. Yes, I think I showed this already. This is true. They're really pretty, but, like, if you don't know what you're getting into when you pick it up, it's a little hard. I think I already showed these. <laughs> did they even like explain where the fox came from um i thought it was the friends yeah but like why is there just like a magical fox with them i don't know but he was super fun i liked mm -hmm. it and how he saved her but yeah and of course we have like a heroine who loves books and she found the library and then she's like the king was folding the pages of his book <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i remember that <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like because it has like the doc going. Yeah, out that one. Really it nice. literally looks like a Kristen Ashley book that I have. <laughs> looks like cream. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I showed you, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is true, which I feel bad because Emily does such good covers. Yeah. Oh, this is true. Um, because I mean, we were just talking about this in my historical hellions live show. There's a lot of contemporary historical romance authors who use the tropes from the old school ones. So like Kate Bateman literally said in my interview with her, 
she used Shanna's beginning for her beginning. Mm-hmm. Because she did the whole, I'm going to get married to someone on death row, but he's not actually dying for whatever reason. And that's what happened in Shanna. And that's what happened in Kate Bateman's book. And she said, yes, that was a nod to Shanna. So, well, okay. This is fair. Like for any retelling. Yeah. It just feels awkward when it's like an author that's still writing <laughs> and like <laughs> popular. And like, then you're like, yeah. oh, I want to take this but, I don't like, know. Are these, are these fairy tales like open domain? You know, is that true? Like, does it make it okay to use versus, or, like, all the Pride and Prejudice retellings, or Emma, like, a classic versus a contemporary. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Did they explain this in the book? Is that not the friend? I must have missed this. Oh yeah, yes. I yes. did not. Okay. I don't know. That, yeah, I yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's okay. <laughs> well, like I said, I really zoned out through a lot of the, the mm-hmm. middle of the book because nothing was happening. I'm like, sure, what she got kidnapped and then she escaped with the fox, but then she didn't, right? Like the fox let her out, but then what was his name? Ilan? Elander. Elander caught her, but then he was going to take her, but then the king caught them. She and then keeps somehow, like, caught. <laughs> Isn't that hired her friend. Yes. Yes, she does. But then, like, hired her friends somehow, and then I missed the part where they were, like, they were went on a journey, and I was like, where are they going? I don't remember. Was like, they not to, she... the, to the castle or whatever? Were they already at the castle, though? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> because then that's where I was like, oh, now you're in this forest fighting these weird animals. Yeah, that's that's like, where the actions happen. Yes. But... but I don't remember, like, where they were heading. Yeah, there was – I don't remember a point to it either. But like I said, it was just, like, very hard to – I feel like this one is not good to listen to because it's very easy to space out because you're like, nothing's happening. And then you, like, space back and you're like, oh, wait. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you missed Now we're somewhere. Stuff. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I mean, I had to – go back a few chapters a couple mm-hmm. times crystal i was just looking at your review at the beginning of our live show because i remember you dnf'd it talking about being dumped in with not any world building at all which we agree is this a new omegaverse plagiarism thing because i feel like that's what that happened a long time ago what what was it like they, they used the omegaverse and they were mad yeah, pretty much. Is that not remember. like a public concept that people? Yeah, have? it is. But I think that author just decided it wasn't, or she was—I don't remember. It's just like the whole cocky thing, right? The plagiarizing yeah. the word "cocky." I don't know. People think they own things when they don't. Oh, I typed in Omegaverse, and Omegaverse lawsuit is, like, number four on really? Google. <laughs> okay, yes. So, I feel, I don't know. So, um, this says the king thinks the plague was caused by the gods. They were trying to check into that by <laughs> going to some place, but it was more confusing than it needed to be. I, like, I don't know. The author was really trying to do something, and I don't think she executed it that well. Yeah, maybe she wanted it to be a bit more adventurous, you know, like action adventure. So yeah. she had to force them to go out. But I'm like, because otherwise worried. they would just be stuck at that castle the whole That's time. That's true. That's true. I mean, this has, I mean, it has five thousand ratings on Goodreads. So, and it has a four point zero eight rating. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> So Christy read it and she said, it had me feeling so blah during and after that I won't continue the series. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'll plan to continue with it. No, the more I talk about it, the more I'm gonna, it's more like a three. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like I hated this and it was awful. So I don't feel like comfortable giving it a two. But... It was yeah. just like middle of the road. It was candy. okay. Yeah, it was okay. I give okay books three stars. Right. 
They tried to do something. And the romance just wasn't there for me. So if the romance was better, mm-hmm. I would have given it higher. But it had a lot of potential, though. Like, yeah. enemies to lovers. And how they um, met. Yeah. And she's like, I'm going to seduce him to steal from him. But he knew what she was doing. And I'm like. Yeah. Like, it could have been. The banter probably could have been better. Yeah. And then, I don't know. It could have been more broody. I don't know. I feel like I wasn't really connected <laughs> to him. Because he was, like, very, like. You being used by the king, and like, I don't know, his character just could have been a lot better. Like, I said, yeah. everything was just like surface level. Like, her friends, like, she had all the components that make a really good fantasy romance, like from Blood and Ash in Sarah J. Mass's books, but mm-hmm. she couldn't really execute it as well. Okay, I mean, that's fair. There's a lot of Beauty and the Beast retellings out there. I do love Sophie Lark's alternate covers. I know some people say they don't like the um, Kingmaker covers. I love those. I don't. You don't? With, like, no. the tattoo kind of? Yeah, I don't like it. Glowy? Oh, I really I like mean, it. by itself, it's, like, cool. Like, yeah. kind of like Sarah J. Moss, those covers, it's like, okay, cool, on its own. But, like, for okay. a book cover, I'm like, uh. Yeah. I mean, this is true. No trope is original. But it's like when you put them together, like authors have put them together. Like the way you string them together. I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. I was excited. I mean, like we said, it just had so much potential. I was excited. Mm -hmm. But. um, So what was our question? The Omegaverse? I don't even know when the Omegaverse started. I think this is just a general, like, public domain thing. Okay. Yeah, I I feel like you could look at spoilers for (laughs) the next few books. Because I probably will do that. Just to know, but not actually. Did I mean, like, who created the Omegaverse? Right. That's a good question. I don't know. How many of you are actually going to pick up the next one? I would like to know. Yeah, I mean, we got a couple four stars, so I feel like yeah. those would. I agree with this. I already have them, and they're not like... Are you going to buy Gianna's alternate? No. Did you like them? The books or the covers? The covers. Uh, not really. Like, it's it's a bit too cutesy for okay. MC. Yeah. We I, like, found where all of them were except for Inked and Lies. And Inked and Lies is the only one I would be interested in buying. So. Is that your favorite? Inked and Lies, yeah. Oh, okay. Which one's your favorite? I haven't finished the series. Oh. Well, I have. Um, <laughs> the one series you finished. <laughs> Who knows when book seven's coming out? (laughs) Yeah. I I was even supposed to beta read it. But she said she's done with it. And she's done with her next series, too. Is she? That's what she said at Book Bonanza. She's, like, written her... I forget. Tori will remember. I forget which, which one she had said. If it was her MMF one. For a new series? Yeah, that's coming out later this year. Because she was supposed to come out with, like, five books this year. Yeah, and her accounts are back now. Yeah. And she said about Bonanza, she was like, oh, we're going to announce it soon. And it's been two weeks now. So, I don't know. I'm just waiting, but it's fine. Ooh, this is true. That could happen. Oh, I'll go back to these. Did you ever read Patricia Briggs? Yeah, I loved her. Is she really the original Omegaverse? I mean, she was probably the first one that I read. Yeah. She's been writing for a while. Yeah. I don't know. Could be. But it's not like the... I don't think it's considered the typical Omegaverse that, that like, Omegaverse is now. 
Right. Because doesn't it, they have like the alpha and beta thing, right? Mm -hmm. But I've only read Catherine Moon for Omegaverse and that's it. I mean, it was nice the library had it. So are these on KU? I just knew my library. Had yeah, they are. Okay. Which then someone had asked, I forget who I was looking at. Can um, KU books be at the library? Um, if they're taken off KU for a period, yeah. Okay. But like her books are still on KU. Yeah, but sometimes, but then like the library gets to keep it there. I guess. Oh, okay. So they, the library they bought it. Return it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Monstrous series. Who's the author? Like an actual series called the Monstrous series. I don't know what these are. I mean, that's fair. I mean, that's just like reading any retelling. You know the general to direction. Expect. Yeah. And you know they're going to end up together because it's a romance. So that's true. Okay. We have a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So this is a. Have no you heard name. of this? No. Let me look this up. Hello. Why? Not maybe. Soul Eater. Oh, wow. That cover. Oh, I've seen this. Is this the one that's really long? Uh, well, Goodreads says it's 259 pages. I'm thinking of a different one. Are these monster? Oh, they, it's yeah. M -M Fantasy. Oh. It sounds like the beginning of Pestilence because it says uh, one's a monster who appears every three years and makes his way across the country and like slaughters everybody. Mm -hmm. And the other hero is a soldier on a team that is um, trying to take him out or capture him. And like that would be Pestilence where he was killing everybody. And then she, she wasn't part of like a team, but like she had to like drew the short straw on how to try to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Don't judge them based on the covers. Oh, it's a debut novel? Post-apocalyptic yeah. fantasy. Monsters and human men falling in love. That looks really But good. how monstrous is the monster? I'd like to know. It's only 250 pages, so mm -hmm. it's up on, on Amazon. Oh, the ending, yes. Because he's supposed to kill her. <laughs> Angela, yeah. Because the whole reveal thing, like, she she's a sister, she's a long-lost princess. And he tried to kill her when they were younger, but she oh. protected herself and her brother. Yeah. I think I saw somewhere in books on the second book, Goodreads page, that that didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> but they oh, <laughs> they kind of introduce it. I mean, that was actually why introduce it if it's just going to be like Meh. where they they just. It. They just get together anyway, I guess. <laughs> and didn't they say, I feel like there was something in the beginning about how, like, the king had a sibling, too, that died? The king or the prince? Well, whoever it was, the prince. Isn't he a king? Yeah, that's her. It is her. Yeah. I think Will so. Get a sister? What? But the, she had a sister, too. Did she? I thought you she was the only sister. 
Oh, that he had he, a sister. Okay. He had a sister. Yeah. Well, yeah. So when they mentioned that in the beginning, I was like, okay, well, is this sibling actually dead? Because that never happens. They never stay dead. So I remember that. Yeah. Okay. I just downloaded it. Um, which one did I download? Oh, Solely. so are they like standalones? I hope so. Let me go back. Oh, this one says it's 3.30. My Goodreads said differently. Um, Sounds like it follows the same couple. Um, does it? Oh. Well, I don't know. No. It sounded like it because <laughs> the guy is also in the military. Purple monster. <laughs> <laughs> when are these coming out? This is so funny. Oh, 2021. The covers look like they're a lot older. Yeah, they do. It said, circumstances forced me together with a big, annoying, purple monster who's arrogant <laughs> and bossy. Oh, my God. Uh, uh. Wait, but I need to know how monstrous these guys are. He's purple, but he looks like a human on the cover. Yeah, but that's like Ice Planet Barbarians level. Yes, where they have like little differences, but they're basically human. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Oh. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. If it's, like, part of a post-apocalyptic thing. Oh, they get pretty monstery. Okay. I'm intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most monster, monster romance you've read? Uh, probably the spider one. Oh. Uh, what was that author? Uh, Ensnared? Yeah. I haven't read that. A smoke monster? Ooh. What is that? That's fun. We did have a question about our next book. Okay. It's a dark romance. New release. I don't know the full plot. I remember reading it when I first saw it come out. It's, it's pretty vague. Okay. But I'm currently trying to look at the other monsters. <laughs> oh. I'm going to look up this real quick. Yeah. I also don't know. If you can show us. Show us. Oh, of the... No, the first one literally shows oh. us the third <laughs> over it. Okay, Alexi said it's not safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> Where does she show, like, the full-on, though? Because you can't really see. Probably Twitter. Like... Yeah. yeah. Are you looking not... at the Twitter or the Instagram? No, I'm on Instagram. Just like with Katie Roberts and her mm -hmm. art. I love that these, these artists will do that. I know. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I haven't looked yet. <laughs> just the first one. Um is it like just on her Twitter? Yeah. This is a moth hero. Um if you're interested, go check out her Twitter because there are <laughs> Uh, I mean, I see a lot of her retweets. Are there any that she commissioned? Do I need to share this with you? Which Don't one are you looking me. at? Here. I am I'm seeing the... The oh, Mothman God. one. you get it? Oh, I cannot. wow. <laughs> I'm not. So if you guys are interested, check out her Twitter, but I'm not showing it to you. It's the one where it, it's like 18 
<laughs> with the yeah. no sign. The rest of them are pretty, like, okay for... Yeah, but this... <laughs> but not that one. Okay, but we definitely didn't answer your question. We are reading... Um, Does It Hurt? Does it hurt? By H.G. Carlton. This which one has two covers that I'm... I don't know which one I like better. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to decide, too. They're so pretty. Oh, they're not even both on... That's annoying. They're not both on Instagram. I mean, Goodreads. I'm going to Instagram to look at them. So this is the first cover, which is super, super pretty. Mm -hmm. But then this is the other cover, which is also really pretty. Yeah. I kind of like the girl cover better. That's what I'm leaning towards, but the other one is also really pretty so i know well i guess we'll decide if we actually like the book first (laughs) i think it's always either emily or murphy who does every one of these covers i'm pretty sure this one is emily yeah this one is emily and this one is murphy and i remember them saying they literally use the same graphic for the lighthouse and didn't realize it oh yeah they're so pretty, though. Yeah. So pretty. I'll probably end up buying it. Hopefully I like it. The girl one? Yeah. Ooh, it's thrilling. So is it, like, suspense, too? Like, paranormal aspect? No, like, romantic suspense. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think so. Let me see. I feel like she put tropes somewhere. I also do like the fact, because it sounds like it's, like, out at sea for some parts Mm -hmm. of it, which I really like books like that. Oh! (laughs) I didn't know that. Cool. Double dip. Yeah. (laughs) Enemies to Lovers. Psychological Thriller. Ooh. Yeah. I I love her writing. She's great. I know you just got the the Haunting and Haunting Adeline books. Yes. So I'm very excited for. read them. <laughs> well, I'm like, do I save them for like the spooky season? Because that's when everybody was reading them before. Or oh, really? Them? Were they? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, because he like talks her. I got the oh, what, is, where, what is that from? It's from the author. You bought it from the author? Yeah, these are the scratch and dent copies. Which because are I don't remember. The price. Oh, okay. Because wasn't that the one that was like on Mercari for like a thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah. And she was like specifically said, "If you try to resell them, I will ban you." And she also numbered them. The thing is, she numbered them, and the person even put, "This is number blah blah blah," so she knew exactly who it was. Okay. I didn't know if those were for a book box. I don't I remember it being like, why is this being sold on it was her book box? Oh, okay. Okay. It's very pretty. Yeah. I I love the back cover. Like, do you see? Yeah, the skull with the spider. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, That's so pretty. How much was that? And then the it was 40 something. Oh, that's not bad for a the box set. That's really, really pretty. Yeah, and then the box itself was over $100. The box? Oh, did it come with stuff? Yeah, it did. Yeah, for some reason, like, the sprayed edges that she did, like, the paper that she used, it wasn't good with the spraying stuff, so it wasn't perfect, you know? Yeah. But it still looks pretty fine to me. I just like the foiling on it. That's so pretty. Yeah. But I could always ask McKay and Nikki <laughs> if they just want to do a joint live show. I didn't know that that was their pick. Yeah. I mean, do they do it at the end of the month? Um. Yes. I feel like they just – yeah, they had theirs two days ago um, okay. for their book club pick for them. 
I guess I didn't notice. I don't remember all the books that they picked. I can ask. If not, it's totally fine because it's their, yeah. their own book club. But I feel like it's going to be a popular book for a lot of people to be reading because mm-hmm. is, is H.G. Carlton only written those two or? No, she has a couple older stuff. That aren't as popular. But, mm-hmm. She didn't list them. She is mm-hmm. planning to write a reverse harem. And I'm so excited. Ooh. It's one of the side characters in the Cat and Mouse duet. Yeah, she's kind of she's kind of crazy. <laughs> she has imaginary boyfriends, <laughs> so she like thinks she's in her own reverse harem, and then she, I guess, she eventually will get a real one with her imaginary ones, or not? No, with real guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I didn't know if it was a sense that like, oh, they turned real, and like, oh, I don't, I don't think there's gonna be a paranormal aspect okay. to it. I mean, I guess only the reverse harems I read are mostly paranormal, so. I don't know. I mean, I guess I've read, like, the Tate James ones, but. Yeah. Um. Oh, but the L. Thorpe is on my hoopla. I'm so excited. You had, like, reposted that someone was excited it was on their library, and I was like, huh, I should look. And I was like, oh, my gosh, they're all here. <laughs> is it the prison series? Yeah, so, like, Locked Up Liars. Yeah. Yeah, that was the first one. I have it downloaded. I'm very Yeah, because I listened to the high school one in audio. So those are already yeah. out. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, Locked Up Liars is there. I think the whole series is there. No, why does it only say one? No, okay. My <laughs> library isn't good at, like, listing. Oh, series? Different series. Yeah. Oh, no, they only have the first one. The other two were from oh. the, uh, the high school series. Oh, I mean, maybe you just have to wait a bit because I think she only just announced that they were in audio. Oh, okay. True. Like, my, mine took forever for the Madison Kate and the Hades. They would have, mm-hmm. like, book one, and then they would have one and two, and then, yeah. That's why I, I just ended up reading it, <laughs> yeah. reading the ebooks. Yeah. yeah. I've been but putting all four special editions are, are coming. I got tracking for them. So pretty but so expensive. And I was like, I haven't read them yet and I don't want to like commit. Yeah. <laughs> it. Oh, it was a lot books. cheaper than I thought. Well, true. I was expecting like a hundred something. Yeah. And it's owed right just over a hundred dollars. No, it was only 80 something. I was expecting over a hundred dollars. Oh. With shipping, it was 80? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. I told you. I know, but I don't remember. What was it then on their website? 60? How much was shipping? Um, conversion, it ended up being 50 for the books itself and then plus like okay. 30 for shipping. Oh, that's so cheap. And then I look at the L. Kennedy off-campus books and I'm like, they're so pretty. But they're only like only the first four come in the box and they're going to do like the legacy later, I think, but the legacy matches up with the spines. So it's going to be like unfinished spines. Are you talking about bookish box? Yes. Okay. I was like, wait, Elle Kennedy is doing her own stuff. (laughs) What? (laughs) No, no, it's it's all five has the spine, all five, the spine matches. They added a new image with that. But is book five going to be in the box? No, it's separate. Which is annoying. So if you only get the box, it's only going to have the first four. And the spines are not going to be complete. Until you buy it later. Yes. So you, like, yeah. have to buy. So you have to so, like, wait. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's fun that authors are doing their own book boxes, though, with special editions like that. Mm-hmm. Although sometimes uh, they do, they do like, boxes with swag and stuff. And I'm like, I don't... I don't want swag. Can you just give me the well, book? So did you get the Runix? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So that was good. I really liked that she did that. Yeah. I did not get that one. I'm trying not to buy too many special editions unless they're like all time favorites. But mm-hmm. I liked how she had the different tiers. She's like, just the book for $30, get it. And that's all you need. Or you can like, wasn't it like 30, I think. And then like 35, the actual, yeah. like big box was like a hundred and I had like everything in it. Yeah. Yeah. So I I need more people to do that because I don't I don't do anything with swag. 
Is H.D. Carlton... Oh, H.D. Carlton is going to a Polycon 2023. Yeah. And she already has her pre-order up. That's why I was like, wait a oh, second. Wow. What is this? <laughs> for next year. You're out. Dang. On top of it. Ooh, there's also this one. Can you see that? Oh, yes. Yeah. So that, that one she did for the people who weren't able to get this special edition because these were super limited. Okay. So those ones you can get on her website. Okay. But is it not, like, as pretty? Yeah, no, there's no sprayed edges no or, anything. or anything. No. Okay. Well, I'm excited for this book. Yeah. Okay, it'll be fun. All right, and we'll announce on our Instagram when it is. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at our Instagram. <laughs> Oh, this is true. I only like swag that's useful. So if it's like some random knickknack, I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But at the same time, I already have so many candles and mugs and book sleeves. I know. So I just don't really need it. Unless it's like an all-time favorite series where I'm like, oh, I want to. Does the Gianna it. box have swag? Yeah. Well, so like, I have one right here. It'll come with, like, a pouch um, for the series. And then it'll have, like, bookmarks and stickers. and Oh, like, this is a card for, like, a Nova's business card. Oh, that's cute. That's cute, yeah. yeah but I usually like just end up recycling them. I, like, purge my stuff <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm, and, like, yeah. a lot of like the knickknacks that I won't use, I'll literally bring it to school and give it to my students. I'm like, I don't want oh. this. So here's a mug and here's like this. And yeah. Or else it just like sits in a pile and I don't use it. Yeah. Them. Pretty much. Yeah. And at least they'll use it. Okay. And all the chapsticks I get from, I have like so <laughs> many chapsticks from Hello Lovely and I will never use that many in my life. So I'm like, here's a yeah. chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do like pens and pencils. I mm -hmm. use those. Like, I have author pens everywhere, like, that you get from Titan <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. I use those all the time. Okay, anyways, we will see you guys next time. And hopefully we enjoy the book. I'm super excited for it. Yeah, I hope you love it. I feel like I will, just because I've read her before, so I know yeah. what to expect. Yeah. Okay. All, all right. We'll see you guys later. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone.